Hey guys, it's Regina the Happy Crafter and today we're here doing um, a haul video. I've got a little bit of Dollar Tree, I got a little bit of Dollar General, and I've got one craft item that I've made recently that I wanted to show you. Um, oh, please overlook my hair today. Um, yeah, it's one of those days. Um, so, let's jump right in and get started. I've got some cute decor pieces that I have found recently. These are adorable. And on the front of that, if you can't read it, it says, in a world of, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. I love that. I love that. I love that. I love that. It's like one of my favorite sayings. They were, I think, four different styles of this one. I didn't get all four of them. I only got three. This one says, feels good to be home. And I love 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 the background to that so if you wanted to see if you could get the little um words off of it and i thought a little bird like if you had a cricket to put a little bird on that that would be so adorable um in this one it says you have three choices in life give up give in or give it all you've got how inspiring is that i love that and I love the black and white because I love farmhouse. Found this beautiful little cross that says bless. And it's like metal. The bless is. And I would say this is somewhere around maybe six inches. I don't have a measuring tape. Well, that's my guess. Um, this little sign. They were several of these uh, like with little remember what the other little thing is that was on it but this was my favorite so this is the one I got it says you're perfect how adorable is that and these little frames are perfect too to do something on and put like on your tear tray that's one of the reasons I get those is because I love to do different designs um I found one of these I only found one that's all I found um, hopefully, and we have two Dollar Trees here in my town, so hopefully I can find another couple. But I love the little thing right there. So if you, like, needed that on something else or wanted to make a design of something else, oh, I love that. Love that. And I really wish they didn't put the, uh, the little size on that because I like the greenery. I think that is beautiful. And I found two of these. I literally made several different projects um if i've got a chance i'll try to show you the the two things that i've made because i didn't get videos of either one one of them i made before i had my channel and the other one i made recently but of course my phone has been full and i had to delete mm, some stuff to even like <laughs> of my kids to even get this on so yeah i've got to get my phone fixed just wear away but I thought these are cute I love 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 making little um planters like for flower arrangements out of these because I love the farmhouse and I love the way it looks with the the um and I even I'll if I get a chance to show you the the last thing I made um for Easter I found a way to hide the holes so yep I did that. and it was very inexpensive so wasn't that hard to do um found one of these little frames it's the first time i had seen that i only got one because i'm not real sure what i'm going to do with it and if i it says glass paint i'm thinking there's two glass in there i'm not sure i'll have to open i hadn't opened it yet to even see but if i'm thinking right you take one paint out and these come apart somehow i don't know i hadn't looked at it yet but i thought that would be really neat to put um, words on with your Cricut and make it like really neat and what else did I get I got two of these they usually come out every season with um like little I don't know little gift boxes but I have um found a new use for mine <laughs> like make them to look like books paint them up and thought this one was beautiful oh my goodness I love the 
the florals. And, uh, you know, with this one, to me, it wouldn't bother me to um, leave it just like this. And it says, love your life. Oh, I love that on that. And just one more little thing. I found some floral foam. Floral foam. Oh, goodness gracious. That was not easy to say that. Okay. Well, that was all on my Dollar Tree part. So, let's see what I got from the Dollar General. Oh, my goodness, y'all. If y'all have not checked your Dollar General for florals, um, for, like, fake flowers, y'all need to, because mm, they had some of the cutest, beautifulest flowers, like, and this one was only $3 for this. And you get a bunch in this, and it's little grass, and it's got little pink, little pink um, things on it. Oh, my goodness. This reminds me of something I had seen at Hobby Lobby, and I'm thinking it was 7 8 $9 for this, just for something this size at Hobby Lobby. So, crazy. Got this for $3. Oh my goodness. You know, I don't know how well this is coming across on the screen, but this is beautiful. Like the greenery in this is so pretty. It's got little um little green like things blooms and then little white ones. Oh my goodness. It is so beautiful. Like it would be so good to like pick off and use the green for greenery somewhere if you needed it in a floral. And let's see, I found this, and I gave $2 for this, y'all, on clearance. Um, it was $8, and it is a blessings jar. And I don't know if you can see on it, it's got like a, a clear um, crystal for its top. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. And for $2, heck yeah. And, um, oh my goodness, y'all, look at these napkins. These are so beautiful. A dollar, a dollar. Look how pretty. Um, these remind me of the ones that I had purchased from Walmart for, I think they were $2 and something, close to $3 for the napkins I purchased. They were the Pioneer Woman, the ones with the little bunnies on them. So these remind me of that. It reminds me so much of the Pioneer Woman. Pioneer woman design and um, the flower the colors that she uses and a lot of her stuff It's beautiful. I thought that would be good to Mod Podge with and then these little Easter ones I thought that would be cute to Mod Podge with and you know I was in my Dollar General not too long ago and I didn't see any of these So and these were just a dollar also And I think that's it for my hauls Hold on just a second and let me grab. I didn't bring it over here for five dollars. And no, this tray did not come with the black on it. I took and put um, black with um, black paint um, gloss. I, I like the gloss paint, the um, little apple barrel gloss. It's like, I don't know, 80 something cents at Walmart. And you can see where I did like the chippy, the chippy look on it. I just thought that was so, so cute. And I thought for $5, it looks like something you would see. And it's a pretty good sized little thing. I mean, it, this one, like the bottom reminds me of maybe the size of the big burner cover. And then the smaller burner cover. So it's a, a good size little tray. I mean, for $5. I couldn't have made it for five dollars so I thought that was really cute and let me see if, um Thanksgiving and you can see it's got the thankful on it and I used three and I didn't do as well hiding these as I did on the one that I've made for Easter and I made it double-sided You have no clue what that is. A sticker of some sort. But yeah, I thought that was really, really pretty for Thanksgiving. And then let's see. And that was the end of last year. Let me. And here's the one I had made 
for Easter. And see how I took the little, um, these little, I don't know what you call it, little greenery vines that I had found at Hobby Lobby, and I got them when they were on sale, so I didn't give, they were like, I don't know, $3 maybe, um, and I cut some off, like maybe wrapped it around twice, and then I found this, um, and you could even use the one from Dollar Tree to do this part with. So you just take two, butt them up, and glue them together. And then, of course, I found all this up here at the Dollar Tree. And I did it on both sides, so that way it's hiding both of the, the, um, the little holes in the front. And I got little carrots and little eggs hid. It reminded me of, I had, you did like, I don't know, this is kind of like one that they had at um, Hobby Lobby, and I, I tried making mine, my own. And I probably had almost as much invested in it, but that's okay. You know what, as a maker, as a DIYer, even if you've got as much invested in it, you, I, if it's me, I like personally making it because I know that I made something. So that's all today, guys. And thank you for watching. And if you like my video, please subscribe and hit the thumbs up button.